SQL Server is very specific about what date formats it wants. Um, I've never had much luck other than giving it exactly what it wants, and then it's a happy SQL Server. So we're dealing with MySQL here. Uh, SQL Server is exactly the same thing. So here we are in a date field. It's a date time field. And if I try to give it a date that you're using, move off the record so it'll save it, encrypt, time value, date time value, it just doesn't like it. But if I try to give it the correct value, something that it expects, I don't have to give it the time if I don't want. It's a very happy SQL, MySQL server. So, uh, so let's see what, how this runs in code. And come back to that. So here you are in some code running this uh, pretty much the same um, AJAX callback that you are. I'm setting my own current date um, as a static variable. Uh, you, you've got yours coming in, but it's essentially the same thing. It's a character field. So there's the date in your format. Arguments are set. Um, everything else is exactly the same. That's my field name, customer date is equal to cust date. And so let's go and run this. See how it looks. And here we are. We're stepping through the code now, We're right down in here. And we'll step through it. There's my current date. It's set properly. Well, improperly, but it's set. Connection is good. There's my statement. And there's my execute statement. And where's my flag? False. Didn't work. There's my message. incorrect time value, date time value for my column. Let's just run through that again. Well, don't have to. I just formatted it, that's all. That's why you couldn't read it that well. But that's what it says. Incorrect date time value tells me what the date time value is for that column. It's just not the right format. So let's halt that process. get out and let's go and reformat the date so I'm going to put this line of code back in uh, using the function a5 convert date string I can just pass it a string I know the format it's coming in it's coming in as month day year I'm going to shove it back out as mo year month day and delimited with a, a dash so now let's run this I save it I'm going to run it actually I'm going to change the date Let's change it to today, just so we can see a change taking place. Because as you remember, we've got the 17th in here in our data. So we'll save it and we'll run it. Let's upload. Here we are in our code. Let's walk through. So there's our current date formatted month day year there's our new date formatted year month day step flag true Let's continue running everybody's happy check the database this is this very first record here I'm going to refresh there's our date. So that's the format that it needs. It's coming in as one thing for you, but you've got to reformat it so that SQL Server is happy with it. Thanks for watching.